Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group K Round 2 match between Rock and his unpainted orcs and Petey Poos and his lovely dark purple undead team. Um, let's have a look at the Group K table right now. You can see that everybody in the first round all drew, so it's literally all to play for here, just basically a reset. Maybe some people will feel hard done by, you know, maybe thought they should have won or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's all going to come down to round two and three. I can tell you how these two guys qualified. Uh, Rock is Spanish and qualified through the season four official ladder. And Pity Poos is from the UK and qualified via PC as well through THBBL season one. And both pretty standard teams. Um, Rock has gone for as like as heavy as you can get, basically, right? By use giving up the third reroll, replacing it with leader, lets him have twelve players and an apple with the troll as well. So this is like as heavy as the team gets, essentially. Uh, for oh, only three guard biggins, yeah. So he loses a guard biggin right to do that. Uh, Mighty blower and a tackler. I'm not a huge fan of the tackler, but you know I know a lot of people do in tabletop. Less obviously less role without Amazons, right? But you know, c certain dodgy teams are annoying, like Wood Elves with nine dodge. Um, Petey Poos struggles more against agility teams, so has taken. You know, he's not gone for guard on the mummies. It's a it's a completely valid choice. I feel like I'd prefer guard on the mummies, but I don't know. And a uh, couple of blocks wrestles sure hands on the ghouls, and a couple of guard whites. So I actually do prefer that over the tackle. Um, so actually, Rock is down two skills essentially, isn't he? Because oh no, he's not down two skills. He, he, there's ghouls to hit. He's down one skill because the leader, and often the undead would be down a skill as well. But because he hasn't taken a tackle, he's not. So at least he has two guard. But I feel like for this matchup, guard on the mummies would be better. But we shall see. Maybe he won't need it. Like, they can still crack by themselves, right? And he's got a guard on the whites to assist him to make sure he's got two dice blocks from the mummies every turn. Though, this one might get banged out instantly. Does not get banged out instantly. Has to be at least a little bit happy about that. The guard biggin is exposed there, so he should be getting blitzed by a mummy, I would imagine. That's the pickup on Mr. Throw. So a completely normal first turn, right? Like you can't win the game in the first turn, but you can lose it, right? He didn't hasn't left any horrendous gaps or anything. Which you know, uh, undead could like go for. Wait, this looks like he was setting up a three D, but it wasn't. Did he think this was a lineman? This is a big one. He probably thought this was a lineman, right? And that's why he put in the guard and the girl to make it a three D. So a bit of a mistake there. Presumably. Oof. Rerolls. Does nothing. You'll do nothing. Yes, I, I like a fair bit of guard. Oof, follows into the follows into the mummy. Oh, fo follows him into the mummy as well. Wow. We could see some huge mummy bangs here. Oh, I hate that stand up. 
hate that stand up, right? Because if he doesn't stand up, yeah, it's like it's one of the things, right, about safe moves first. If he just blocks this guy, if he powers him, then this guy can stand up, move in, and then he can two dice this one with block. So, like, yes, it's safer to stand this guy up in case of disaster, but you're losing out on a potential. Like, I guess you're not. I guess you're gonna mighty blow. Well, you can't mate, You can't. You can't. You can't mummy hit this guy because he's got guards. So you have. Your mummy has to hit this guy. So, like, if there was no guard, you could just punch this guy and then punch this guy and then standing up would be better. But with this guy having guard, um, I think that was wrong standing him up. Yeah, I quite like going for the guard bigger rather than the troll. Like, it's tempting to go for the troll because, you know, it's hard to hit the trolls. And, uh, like, when it being strength 5, it's hard to hit him. Normally. Oh, so now you just dodge away. Oops, skull. Skull. Oh, went for the one day on the troll. And this might be a surfed ghoul now, right? This is, uh... This is dangerous for this ghoul, very dangerous. I mean, it should absolutely be a surf ghoul. Wait, wait a minute. I say that. He hasn't actually got guard, has he? This guard's stunned, and these guards are occupied. What you'd really like is a guard in here. So you could punch him up, and then punch him over and then run through and surf him. But without guard... Well, I'd have still rather 2 d him with the lineman, but I mind. Oh, but then it would have failed. You, well, you could have done it the other way, right? So, so with him not having guard, what he could have blocked with the lineman and pushed him to there, and then blitzed this guy and then come around. It's still not good, actually. You've probably got to give up on the surf. You've probably got a blitz to get one of these guards over. It's probably what you have to do. This this blitzer probably blitzes a zombie to get the guard in. It's probably, it's probably the best thing to do. It sucks that you've got this one completely isolated. Glorious troll hit gets the removal. And now maybe his Peter Poo's wished he'd block the troll. Oh, he did, he did block it, he 1D'd it, right? He double skulled, which led to him, this guy getting killed. I mean, he could have hit it with the mummy. Oh, and dodged away this ghoul last turn to then only divert people to punch this guy, so... Not a huge fan of this. And also, he, because he didn't follow with the mummy last turn, he then doesn't have the mummy hitting the guard with mighty blow. use the blitz to get away. Fair enough. A lot of this is nitpicky by the way, but I, li I like doing the nitpicky things like that because I think it's kind of important, right? Like people might not know these things and I quite like thinking about them and pointing them out. <laughs> so you know, I'm not saying that these people are terrible because there's some nitpicky things that could, you know, could be better. I mean, in some cases, I think are just better. Sometimes it's just it's just pros and cons, right? And it's not necessarily that you know anybody knows which is right and which is wrong. One will be right and one will be wrong, right? At the end of the day, each turn there will be an absolute correct thing to do, won't there? But none of us will ever know what that is, probably. <laughs> In my lifetime, probably we'll, we won't find that out. Maybe one day, you know, we'll have... <laughs> what, I mean, because you wouldn't have thought, you know, in 1960 that there would be computers in, you know, in everybody's pockets and stuff, so who knows what will happen in terms of, you know, potential solving of Blood Bowl, but wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> There's substantially more important things to happen before that, isn't there? But it could, it could happen. It could happen. It's 
Just dodged away and didn't punch. Didn't do a lot of punching that turn, Petey Poos. He's, he's lost the... Uh, he had some kind of initiative at some point. And now he seems to have lost it a bit. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, the, the you know, if there is the... But, like, you know, at the, at the end of the day, the mobile phones we have are, like, complete technological marvels to people a, a few years ago, right? So it is possible that the technology will become cheap and ubiquitous. Like, nice to get the blitz off there and get back. Get this... Guard over. Really nice move to do. Good evening, water. It's looking very tricky for the undead now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. If you if you want to stop the AI takeover of the world, just make it play Blood Bowl, and it it'll, it'll kill itself. It'll shut itself off. The only winning move is not to play. <laughs> Self-destruct. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Flip me. Oh, wow. Rolling all the powers this turn. That doesn't clear, doesn't clear away through turn six, but he doesn't need it through this turn, he needs it through next turn, so this isn't a disaster yet. What is a problem is not having guard near the point of attack, but he has got two now. He's managed to, over several turns, finally get the guards leading the charge near the ball, which was required. One of the reasons why I prefer more guard because then it's always in the right place. It's like, this is the thing, right? People might think that they're really good at Blood Bowl and they can get their guards in the right places, but no matter how good you are, it's still harder to get your guards in the right places when you've got three <laughs> than if you had five, right? So guards really, really, really good. Hot take, I know. Oh, wow. So is rolling one dice pals, to be fair. So that we can have a huge, a huge turn here. Oof. Tackle fails. Blitz here does get the power. It didn't need to get the power, right? It didn't need to get... Oh, didn't follow. Okay, I wouldn't have followed either. Would not have followed... Double ones, the rush. Flip me. So, you know, Petey Poo stayed in the way, more or less, for a while, and then he's got half a chance, hasn't he? He's got half a chance now, indeed. He can't actually free things up purely with blocks. He's going to have to make a dodge. Does do this. Maybe should like blitz with a block or a wrestle player, right? Yes. Should have. Oh my god, Kaz himself. So that's pretty, that's, I mean, that was a pretty unlucky thing, but he had options, right? He had options. Like, um... This guy, oh well, how much, how many openers did he have? Actually. Maybe not many, because the, this, there's this guard here, isn't there? Not guard, I mean, there's a player that he can't cancel the assist of. So this, he could, could he stun this guy up? And then one Dean, but then he's still in the way, isn't it? So actually, maybe that was the only way he had. 
Maybe that was the only way he had. I don't know if this was stunned. Was this stunned? Oh yeah, okay, that wasn't stunned. Yeah, so we probably should have stood him up. And then you could have one diced. The problem is if you stand him up and then one dice, it doesn't... Honestly, maybe what he had to do was dodge out and stand there. And then one dice this guy. It's just a two plus, right? And then that lets him bring the guard round to there and blitz this guy with block. And then that's way better, isn't it? Uphill, I, I hate uphilling. I really hate uphilling. I think the better way is to dodge him and then get this 1D, right? Dodge him and 1D. And then, and then you get the then you get the block sack, which is obviously the best. So it, it would have been an extra two plus dice roll, and he's only got one. Well, he's got one reroll now after after doing that. So and then he cast himself though, pretty brutal. I think that was the play: dodge out, one D, and then blitz with a uh, blitz of the ghoul. Or, or the, uh, well, it just picks it up, scores. See you later, mate. I mean, the uphill's not bad, but he could have one deed. Like, he could have one deed, right? Like, he could have one deed. Like, literally, this dodge that he made makes it a one deed, right? One deed is way better than the uphill. Like, it's just literally way better. So there's no need to... Up uphill means you've got the sure hands ready to react as well. So the uphill does have a payoff. You've got the you've got this ready to react, and uh, in fact you can uphill with the goo rather than the white, and then and then you means you've got the you've got the white free and you've got the goo free and you've still got this guy for a pickup and stuff. But um, yeah, I think it was definitely worth the extra two plus to blitz with block because it's just so it's so good, isn't it, to blitz with block and then have this guy in, have this guy in, and then maybe have that guy dodge round as well. Um, right. But anyway, and then the the scatter is just because he didn't stand this guy up, doesn't even have to worry about dealing with all this. Just go straight for the pickup score. Easy. I mean, obviously unlucky one in thirty six from Rock to give Petey Poos a chance, but yeah, could have could have taken advantage a little bit better there. Petey Poos got the orc orc chili does that. So, I mean, dreadfully unlucky to, <laughs> to Kaz's his sure hands. But, again, he could have added 2 plus to that to then be blitzing with block versus a defenseless player. So, um, it could have been optimised. Just going to punch here. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> this guy can't reach. Block with this one and then this guy blitzes. Now he's got a rush. <laughs> oh my god, he failed. <laughs> so I mean, there you go, put absolute justice there. Can't uh, can't complain at all there, can he? <laughs> he just literally should have just blocked with the other guy, and you'd have been fine. So one nil down. Peter Poos can still still get the draw right. Draw is fine. With everybody already drawing, now draws are actually better than they normally would be because the danger is you draw and somebody else wins. But now that everyone else has drawn, um, the other people winning is kind of like less likely because they already haven't. Like it's only a two round group instead of a three round, isn't it? Essentially, that's what's happened to this group with everybody drawing. It becomes a two round group rather than a three round group. So a draw isn't so bad when there's only two rounds. 
and then there's three. So I mean, he could try for the win, but it sure does seem difficult. Like it's just hard, isn't it? It's hard. If you, if you if you go for a win, you're usually setting yourself up to fail. I don't like the block guy standing here. By the way, he could have done the pickup, couldn't he? Um, because now you're picking up with a wrestler instead of a blocker. It's the pow. Yeah, I, I hate going for the pick up with a wrestle. He could have just moved the wrestle where the where the block guy is and picked it up with the block. This could prove disastrous for him. We shall see. Like it really could, right? Because being able to blitz with a wrestle, if somebody's basing you, and then like, you know, just one dice and then two plus, well, not two, a two, five or a six, you can just get, you know, get rid of their tackle zone. But or sometimes a two plus to get rid of the tackle zone, or a three. Like it can be really good blitzing with a wrestle to move people. So, and obviously if you get hit, then uh, it's much worse to have wrestle than block. With the ball. Oh. Guard goes in there. I'm not sure about. Got a skeleton on the pitch, which I'm also not sure about. Could have just been a zombie. Hate skeletons. But you know, some people like them. It's the pal. Beats off these two guys. Love to see it. This guy being here. Oh, gives him the troll block. Unless he... Bone, well, not boneheads. Really stupid. <laughs> this is going... I mean... There's maybe also a zombie inside of you as well. But uh, the point is obviously referring to the Games Workshop game. Blood Bowl is where I don't like skeletons. Specifically in an undead team when the other option is a zombie that has more armor. So the mummies are in the mix now, but they're not because there's no like it's hard to protect them, right? There's no there's no guard on the mummies themselves. And there's limited guard on the team. <laughs> oh, it didn't move the move the ball. Uh wait. What? Is the is the replay broken? Does this guy not have the ball? Uh, like, this guy just gets 2D'd, right? And then you just smash the ball. Like, I don't know if it's bugged and like, you know... I, I, I don't understand why is... Is this... Rock, you're in chat. Is this where the ball was? <laughs> I don't understand. What, both of them? <laughs> Why don't you just come and take the ball off him? 
I'm absolutely bamboozled. Yeah, maybe, maybe Peaky Poo's run out of time, yeah. Like, the only thing I can think of is that it's bugged and he doesn't have the ball. Not in the, not in the Wow, man. Did he run out of time? This is so weird. It's so weird to leave him there instead of moving him over there. And then so weird to not just instantly go for it. Weird. But it is stressful, isn't it? It is stressful. I know. Um, well, no bank time. There you go. There you go. That's fair enough then, right? So the game's gone on for ages at this point. Nerves are frayed. He ran out of time to move him over there. I, I know how it is. It's completely, uh, it's completely understandable. Oof. We're getting the turn four panic now. I didn't watch it live, by the way. It was, it was, it was horrific watching Piebot's game with the the clock running down every turn and just. <laughs> it was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare to to watch. So stressful. The ball is in the open. Yep. It, again, run out of time. Right, run out of time. The ball is here. And smashed on the ground instant nearly instantly too diceable do you know i would have quite liked um chaining this guy onto the ball yeah time yeah running out of time yeah yeah running out of time twice two turns in a row before moving the ball soul would never Oh, he followed away from the troll. So now the troll can't block. Maybe for the best, honestly, right? Because he could have gone stupid and would have been annoying. Yeah, I really like the 2 plus 7 as well. Yeah, I think it's great. As, as stressful as it was watching the Pybot game live as well. Like, never mind for him playing, obviously, like, but it's, it's, it's like, I think it adds a lot viewing-wise as well. The excitement. But yeah, now PD Poos is in, I mean, a load of trouble, hasn't it? The, the timer has killed him here, and, uh, absolutely killed him. Now... Rock just needs to hold his nerve, basically, and uh, clear these and be happy. Oh, there was a strong argument for blitzing that guy with Mighty Blow. Which we do eventually, but like, you know. Could run it first. Right? Kaz, lovely. Yeah, because like, you know, like, if you blitz with him, mighty blow, like, yeah, okay, you could have hit him. I mean, you, you hit him into the additional block, but like, if you blitz him with a mighty blow straight away, then, then you can hit this guy and stuff. And, uh, you know, you're making the block. The blocks with block, like the safe blocks first, right? I quite like. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? But you know what I mean. Like, I think it's important to make safe moves first. Pretty much always, always. I wonder how. I wonder how much people are playing on autopilot in this competition. You know, like we saw, we saw Pybot and some other people, like you know, really running, like really struggling for time. Uh, Pybot in this competition, in in the chalice, we saw people really struggling for time. And uh, I wonder how much, you know, like their autopilot is not helping them kind of thing. Whereas like somebody else who could just like, you know, switch it and just play super fast. I wonder how much of an advantage that is. Just 
keeping the three guys on there. That, this is quite sensible. <laughs> Another guy beaten off. Yep. Oh, the Dublé Skull's out of rerolls now. And not easy to get a blitz in for Scatter, is there? What he, what he could have done is this block, he could have pushed him to here, right? He could have pushed him to here, rather than up. And then after he does this block, this guy could have run around and punched him and then chained the skeleton and got Scatter. And if it's one of these three, where you're really lucky, you can then just get the ball and uh, you know run away over there or something. I don't know. I think that's probably what he had to do to get a decent shot of the ball. Like it takes a lot of luck, but kind of works. Oh well, he just does this instead, which also nearly worked. It made the uphill and the five plus pickup. Yeah, it's it's wild, isn't it? Right with mummies like the it, this, the undead have taken a few, but. As, he has been hitting with the mummies as well, hasn't it? So it's definitely been, you know, unlucky for the undead. It's not as if you've made like, you know, two blocks with the mummies all time, all game. They were making blocks, I'm just not getting the removals. Well, this is looking very good for Rock. If you smell what he's cooking. I'm not a hundred percent on the 3D there. On it, as much as I normally like 3Ds, I feel like in this dominant position, putting him here is like another tackle zone. Oh, it's because he's going to double rush. Or in that case, correct. <laughs> and that's it. PD Poos just ends the turn. Oh, it didn't matter anyway because the game was over. <laughs> I'd lost track of turns there. Um, so yeah, Pete Poo's had no being range, nothing he can do. Um, so there you go, a 1 0 win. I'd forgotten who'd received everything there. I was completely, completely lost in that game. Um, <laughs> and there you go, this was, the, this was the table before, so now Rock is top of the group and Pete Poo's is bottom, but you know, all four withdrawals. Win for Rock, loss for Pete Poo's. So, commiserations to Petey Poos, congratulations, Rock. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.